Hello, and this time I'm talking about mutually exclusive events. Now, this is when um, it's a bit of a tricky one, this one, because it's like a double negative, so I always get, I have to stop and think about it. Um, it's when being one event, or one property of an event, excludes the other thing from happening. Okay, so it's easier to see this in example. I will come back, come to the uh, example on the screen, but I like to think about it in, in playing cards. So if you pick, you've got a, a, a pack of cards here, and you pick a card, and you say, oh, so it's only one card, so it's one event, pick a card. Could that card be a seven and a black card? Well, yes, it could, because you could have the seven of clubs or the seven of spades, and so these two properties, these two events, are not mutually exclusive because they can happen together. So you see how it's a double negative. Mutually exclusive is a negative because you're excluding each other. And being not mutually exclusive means you can have them both. They cancel each other out. But if I pick this one card, could this card be at the same time a heart and a black card? Well, no, you, it cannot. These are mutually exclusive. If you don't know playing cards, then hearts are red. And so um, if you have a card that's a heart, it cannot be black. The fact that it's heart excludes the, uh, it, the card being black. And in a mutual way, if the card is a black card, then it excludes the card from being a heart because there are no hearts in the deck which are black. They're all red. So. The question mutually exclusive is really, can you have both outcomes at the same time? If you can, they are not mutually exclusive. If you can't have both, if being one stops you being the other, they are mutually exclusive. So let's have a look at these examples here. A white and a black dice are thrown together and the events A to D are defined. Now we're going to look at pairing up um, these four in different ways and say, are these mutually exclusive or are these not mutually exclusive? So we could have A and B, we could have A and C and A and D, we can have B and C and B and D, and the last way we can do it is C and D. So let's have a look through which one is which. So we roll two dice together, the sum of the scores are even, the white and the black dice show different scores. Well, that's perfectly fine. That can happen uh, because, for example, uh, the white and the black show different scores of one and three, different scores on each one, but the sum of these scores is even. So these can both happen at the same time with one roll of both dice, but both properties can happen at the same time. So these are not mutually exclusive. OK, what about A and C? The sum of the scores is even. The total score is less than 3. Well, this is also possible because the total score could be 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 is less than 3. And we can get, uh, we're assuming these are just standard six-sided dice. I didn't say that, but I'm pretty sure the question is assuming that. And so that is, 2 is less than 3, and the sum of the score is even because 2 is even. So again, these are not mutually exclusive. OK, so A and D, the sum of the score is even. The difference between the scores is not more than 1. OK, so the difference between the scores is not more than 1. So that means we could have a 5 and a 4. OK, but if we had a 5 and a 4, a difference of 1, then the sum of the scores is not even. That's going to be an odd number. And indeed, for any difference of 1, uh, we could have we will always get an odd number uh, because you're always adding an odd number to an even number if the difference between the scores is one. But this says the scores is not the difference between the scores is not more than one. So it could be less one or less. So we could have two plus two, or one plus one, or five plus five. In all cases of which you're going to end up with an even score. So once again, this is not mutually exclusive. You can have both of these outcomes. I'm not saying you do. What I'm saying is that there is a chance that both could happen. Um, so it's not saying you'll always get both happening. It's just saying that there's, you know, sometimes neither will happen. Sometimes one might and the other might not, or the other way around. But if they are mutually exclusive, it means you can never, in any circumstance, have them both. And we're saying if you can find an example where you can have them both, then they're not mutually exclusive. 
Right, so these examples are pretty boring so far. We've not had any that are mutually exclusive. Let's hope B and C or any of these is a bit different so we have a bit of variety. The white and the black dice show different scores. The total score is less than three. Well, I think this is going to be mutually exclusive because if we want to score as low as possible and they have to have different scores, one can have a one, but the other has to have a different score. And so the lowest we can have is two. So the absolute lowest we can have with different scores is three. The total score is less than three. Well, that's that is three. So it's not less than three. So achieving this, having different scores, we cannot achieve that. And if you have a, a score less than three, the only way to do it is one plus one, and that does not comply with them having different scores. So you cannot have both B and C at once, so these are mutually exclusive. B and D. The white and black show different scores, and the difference between the scores is not more than one. Well, that's okay, isn't it? We're saying that they have different scores, and the difference is not more than one. We can have a difference of one because it says more than one is not allowed, but we can have five and four. They're different. There's no more than one in between them. So these are not mutually exclusive because you can have examples which satisfy both properties. And the last one, the total score is less than three. The difference between the scores is not more than one. Uh, well, the, these are okay as well because in this case, the difference between the scores is not more than one. So we can have the same number added or uh, we can have a difference of one. But in order to have a total score less than three, then we need to have one plus one. That's the only way of doing it, is one plus one. Which satisfies C. The difference between the scores is not more than one. No, it's not. The difference between the scores is zero. So that one's okay as well. So we can have both. So this is not mutually exclusive. So in fact, in these four examples, there was only one mutually exclusive event, and that was having uh, the scores be different and the total less than three. In some examples, you might find uh, that lots of them are mutually exclusive and only a couple are not. Uh, doesn't matter what the, how the question is set up. The important thing is, if you can think of an example which satisfies both of the requirements that you need, then they are not mutually exclusive. And if you cannot, if there is no situation where both can happen at once, then they are mutually exclusive. And that's how you tell the difference. Any questions on that, you can pop them in the comments, but otherwise, ta for now.